Oh Lord, pull up in that O4. Pedal to the metal, says she wanna hit the flow more. You know what? Thanksgiving weekend is here. And you, as an Atlanta sports fan, listen to this. All Atlanta sports fans have a lot to be thankful for this year. And I know, I mean, Georgia Tech football is brutal. And there's about a 50-50 chance that the Falcons lose on Sunday at Jacksonville to the pitiful Jaguars. But then again, the Falcons are also pitiful. And in the National Football League, if you can't score, you can't win, and the Falcons can't score. They also can't keep people from scoring either, right? But but, but I digress, right? Yeah, I'm going to give you the five top reasons to be thankful as an Atlanta sports fan. It's going to be like David Letterman. Remember David Letterman? But there's going to be a little twist. All five of these things are tied for number one, all right? And let's start with this. I don't like oysters. But you, as an Atlanta sports fan, you must love oysters because oysters produce pearls. You know where I'm going. Well, without pearls, the Braves don't win the World Series this year. And the Braves don't have those two victory parades, although one was kind of jacked up. Here in Atlanta, that one, okay, down Peachtree Street where they're like racing like they're going toward the checkered flag at Atlanta Motor Speedway, okay. But then they came back and had the one at Cobb County. That was pretty good. So two victory parades, they were one for two, batting 500, 500, batting 500 in baseball. That's, that's pretty good, okay. I will continue in a minute. But first, subscribe. Subscribe to Atlanta Sports Unlimited for the best sports coverage on the face of the earth for Atlanta sports teams. Oh, here's the other thing. We're sponsored by Prize Picks. Prize Picks, this great fantasy game. You can mix and match different uh, teams and players, or, or different sports, I should say. You got the NFL going on right now, the NBA, college basketball. I mean, this is great stuff. And here's the thing. When you go to their sites, make sure you put in the promotion code Atlanta Sports Unlimited, which is ASU. Just put in ASU for Atlanta Sports Unlimited, and you can win all kinds of great stuff, particularly this week. They've got this special going. Thanksgiving Day. All right, let's look at it. Starting, starting at, at midnight, Thursday morning, and this is going to run through kickoff of the Buffalo Bills game. Quarterback Buffalo Bills, Josh Allen. Okay, Josh Allen's, Allen's passing yards line is set at 0 0.5 by price picks. 0 0.5 is ridiculous. You can win with that. Okay, and again, it's going to go live. And, and then they've got a Black Friday sale. Uh, and, and, and there's a $25 entry limit on this promotion, the one that runs on Thanksgiving. But there's also these flash sales. They're going to take place on Tuesday and Friday. So lots of different chances and lots of different ways to win. Let's go to number five. The number the number five reason, hey, once again, remember the all time for, for number one. The number five reason why you should be thankful this year as an Atlanta sports fan, and I just talked about the pearls, and you know where I'm going, Jock Peterson. Jock Peterson is a guy that represents the entire Atlanta Braves magic team thing. All right? He, he was one of the players picked up uh, around the July uh, trading deadline in the six trades that the that the Braves made that turned a team that was going nowhere, that all these injuries that was floundering around, doing nothing in April, May, June, July, below 500, and August, they started making their run to the World Championship. You know the rest of that story. So, <clears throat> that's number five. Number four, you need to thank the college basketball gods that North Carolina wasn't North Carolina last year and Duke wasn't Duke last year. As a result, Georgia Tech ended up winning the ACC for the first time since 1993. They, they also went to the NCAA tournament for the first time since 2010. Now, to, to, to be fair, to be fair, they had some help right here in Atlanta, Georgia. Moses Wright ended up being the Player of the Year in the ACC, and then you had Jose Alvarado being the Defensive Player of the Year in the ACC. So, yeah, you know, yeah, you know. 
All right, let's go, let's go down to number three. Number three is you need to be thankful. You need to be thankful that the longest honeymoon in history of sports is taking place right here in Atlanta, Georgia with Atlanta United. Yeah, okay, sort of, kind of. It's been going on for like five years here. Right? And we say it's a honeymoon period because that means that people, people are going to ignore the fact that on Sunday in the first round of the playoffs, you know, the Atlanta United, they're, they're playing out, playing in New York. They had this, this great energetic first half Atlanta United did. Okay, 0-0 zero, zero tie, expecting them to do great things in the second half. But they come out as if they spent halftime eating this huge Thanksgiving dinner, you know, fixed by Aunt Flossie, great cook, Aunt Flossie, and, and then came out and, and wanted to take a nap or snooze or all of the above <laughs> for a long time, all right? Not good, all right? But there's st this is still the franchise that was in the top 10 in the world in average attendance, 44,000 fans per game, they average and everything like that, I mean, and it goes back to the good world they've had for five years, great promotions, uh, won the, the uh, Major League Soccer Cup, the second year in existence. So they can go on another 20, 30 years and be bad. And not that they're bad or mediocre or whatever. Number two, you guys need to be thankful that the Atlanta Hawks are benefiting from the fact that the Indiana Pacers are absolutely clueless. Indiana Pacers had this guy named Nate McMillan as their coach for four years. Nate McMillan. I mean, th th this guy is a tremendous teacher. I mean, he's, he's a just an excellent personality. Uh, and he's also a, a, a splendid head coach. They had him. Indiana Pacers had him for four years. He, he took him to four straight playoffs. And then they whacked him after the 2019-2020 season. I don't know why. I mean, he had injuries. Well, I know why. They, they, they said he lost in the first round of the playoffs all four of those years. But you know what? Without Nate McMillan, the Pacers didn't even make the playoffs this year or this last season. But Nate McMillan ends up with the Atlanta Hawks, assistant coach to Lloyd Pierce. Lloyd Pierce gets whacked in late spring because, you know, the team was going nowhere, way below 500. Nate McMillan takes over, and the Hawks finish two games away from the NBA Finals. So, Something to be thankful for. Here's a number one reason to be thankful as an Atlanta sports fan. Okay? Again, that was time for number one. I'm just saying. I mean, I mean, David Letterman is probably watching this video. So I'm, I'm trying to humor him, right? Number one, Kirby Smart. Kirby Smart became Dr. Phil before the season. I've talked about this on, on Atlanta uh, Sports Sunday, Sunday Sports Zone on WSB Channel 2 in Atlanta. I do that every Sunday. I, I've talked about this all year. Okay. Kirby Smart decided to work on the mental aspect of his team. And he's been doing it all year. They've always had the talent, Georgia. They've had nearly as much talent as Alabama. Now they've got as much talent as Alabama. Probably more talent than Alabama. Yeah. And as a matter of fact, they're going to meet each other again in the SEC Championship game. All right? And remember, last time they played in the SEC Championship game, Georgia choked. And just like Georgia choked in, in the, against Alabama with Kirby Smart, against Nick Saban in the, in the National Championship game, too. Okay? But this year, this year, this year of Thanksgiving, I mean, with the SEC Championship game is coming up a week from Saturday, this year and the year of being thankful if you're an Atlanta sports fan, except for the Falcons, except for Georgia Tech football, maybe a few other things, this year, the the Georgia Bulldogs, they're going to get, get we'll talk about that next week. This is my falsetto wicked potion with the slow pour. This is my addiction, make me want to go for more. Hell, 